but the body has to make the cholesterol somewhere. And when it synthesizes cholesterol, it uses it by building it two carbons at a time. And the two carbons are carried by panathenic acid in its coenzyme form, acetyl coenzyme A. So the, acetyl, the coenzyme A carries the two carbons in, the acetyl group in, and they attach to another two carbon group that another panathenic acid brought in. They attach to another two carbon group that the panathenic acid brought in. You've got a benzene ring, and then you keep making it like that. So panathenic acid is necessary for the synthesis of cholesterol and hence the synthesis of steroid hormones. So panathenic acid is an important nutrient there. The conversion of cholesterol into pregnenolone is a pathway which uses something called a mixed function oxidase, or MFO. Now these enzymes, um, which are oxidase of enzymes, work in the body in different places. Sometimes they build things up like they make like they build here, they build a steroid uh, molecule from cholesterol, and sometimes they break things down. They're part of the body's detoxification process. That's why they're called mixed function oxidases. They have mixed functions of both catabolic and anabolic nature. They build things up and they break things down. So mixed function oxidases can be detoxifiers, which we'll talk about a lot more next month. Mixed function oxidases, in the case of the steroids, are synthesizers. And that enzymes that do that all have a wavelength of 450 angstroms, and they're on cytochromes called cytochrome P450. And the mixed function oxidases in the body are called cytochrome P450. And we always talk about cytochrome P450, most people talk about it as far as in liver detoxification and breaking substances down. But they also play a role in building substances up. That's why they have mixed functions. And cytochrome P450, right here, works to make cholesterol into pregnenolone and then a couple of these other steps along the way which we'll see in a minute as we blow it up also use cytochrome p450 now cytochrome p450 is dependent on nadph which is coenzyme niacinamide so you have to have niacinamide for the nadph for the cytochrome p450 so now you need b3 